Hello everybody, Radon95 is here, finally, with some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I haven't been able to record this for a while because, well, I've had to upload like 50 parts. So, um, <laughs> I had that all pre-recorded, so this is now a live recording of the next part, It should be up either today or Monday, probably, I don't know, um, but yeah, so let's get going, uh, what did we do last time? Stuff, let's do more stuff, that sounds good. Gregory Edgeworth. What do you know about Edgeworth's father? He was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite. But it's true. Well, he may have had one peer, now that I think about it. Your mentor, Mia Fey. My sister? Gregory Edgeworth was very disproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man. Forged testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result he has a perfect win recorded. The the result he has a perfect win record in court. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods, and he lost, and died in despair, as it were. I see. Spirit medium. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on a spirit medium. That was your mother, Misty Fay. Getting real here. I am Gre Bleah, Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Yet Yogi was found innocent. That's why my mother left us. Everyone called her a fraud. That's right. <clears throat> That's right. Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems the only one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth must have known his, who shot him. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. And... That's not good. <laughs> so... Um... Where do I go now? Uh, detention center. Why not? No? Maybe? No? Where am I supposed to go now? Um... There. No. Do I go back there? That suck. Go here. No! Uh... Okay, maybe I... Gotta show him stuff, I don't know. Ah, uh, my headset. <laughs> That's not what I used to record anymore, by the way. I used Audacity with um, my stand mic because my headset is broken but it still works. It just has this annoying buzzing sound in the background. It's annoying. Ah, she was a beautiful woman. I'm truly sorry about what I did. No! I'm recording! It's okay. Mom thought I was talking to her. <laughs> anyway... Uh... Huh? Sorry about what? I think I'll stay out of this one. What? What? Okay, I don't think I've ever done that, so I don't know what he's talking about. She's creepy. They're quite sorry. I have nothing to say concerning that. Okay, cool. Cool. Um... Ah. 
Gregory Edgeworth. Edgeworth? Ah. He was a gifted man. His death was truly a loss. I wonder what would have become of Von Kronow were he alive. I really need to move. Like, my legs are falling asleep. Okay. It's probably a lot of noise. I will cut that out. Or something. Ah! Everything's not working now! No, it's working, it's just... Uh, sorry, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry! Okay. Um, here we go. Oh-ho! So this is the letter. It does seem that Yogi was following this letter. When he killed Hammond. Alright, I... Sorry. Oh, God. I gotta... Uh, my foot is now asleep. This is good. But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney. But he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Oh, that's interesting. Huh? His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. That's good. But he got his client found instant, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that instant verdict, but no, for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh? You'll understand soon enough. <clears throat> I gotta do my tones better. Or my inflections, or whatever it's called. Wait! What is it? This letter. <clears throat> I've seen this handwriting somewhere before. A long time ago. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? Ta ha! Uh. No? Yeah, I'm Manfred von Karma. Hmm, could it be Manfred von Karma? Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Um, well, I'm not sure. Hmm? Von Karma. Von Karma. Wait, you're right, my boy! This is Von Karma's handwriting! I'm sure of it! I used to see it all the time on court reports. <clears throat> what? But... But that means... <clears throat> the one... The, the one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred Von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? Why would Mr. Why blah blah? Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? I don't know. Let's go ask him. So, um, there's something else I want to talk about right now. Um, did you guys know that Phoenix Wright is in Ultimate Marvel Marvel vs. Capcom? Oh my goodness! I saw that and I was like, Wow! Wow! And I favorited the video. If you want to check it out, some of my favorites. Anyway. Edgeworth, see this letter? Hmm? This came out of the safe in the shack where that boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Revenge on me? Okay, didn't we already go through this? Who is that old guy anyway? I I don't know. Could he be the innocent blah 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 Okay, that's not what I... Whoops. Does he have a new thing to talk about now, or... No! Can I go talk to Grossberg differently now? Probably. Yup! Ah! Prosecutor Von Karma. If it truly was Von Karma who wrote this letter, I apologize for being so scatterbrained and not knowing where to go half the time. Uh, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. He'll say as much tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no! But, but how could Mr. Ah, ah, I gotta stop putting Mr. because Von Karma's stupid! And they don't say Mr. Okay. Could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? <clears throat> Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. 
Hmm, that I do not know. Yet I do know that Mr. Von. Blah, blah, blah. I really gotta put the Mr. in the place where the Mr. is, not right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to be respectful. Um, that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory, Gregory Edgeworth by hunting his son. What do you mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, <clears throat> and Von Karma did win. But he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. Gregory versus Manfred! What happened in the trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. Should have. Faulty evidence? <clears throat> it was the only penalty Von Karma had ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory L. Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. <laughs> Uh, I just realized something again. It's gonna be fun. Okay. Wow. You must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. A vacation? Yes, an unusual event for that, for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? Like, go to the sea or, uh, to the mountains? Don't tell me he's never been to Europe! Ugh, oh, excuse my yawn in the middle of that. You have strange ideas about vacations, Maya. In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Quite a lot, yes. Odd. <clears throat> if he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? Von Karma is going to bring up DL6, you can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him! You <laughs> can bang on a table much, Phoenix, come on! Um, <clears throat> yes, Mr. Right. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know. I know that. I, I just believe in Edgeworth's innocence. I can't believe he'd killed some. He'd kill someone. He'd killed. Yeah, sure. But, but Nick. Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. It's a cool story, bro, but it's not right. I don't think. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Um, his father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I don't care. I know he's not guilty. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. The police materials. Hmm. Okay, speaking of police, let us go to, uh, Criminal Affairs Department. There it is. Does that mean I can't read? There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy, Yogi. Ah, it's you. I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real. Um, we were wondering if we could check out the records room again. Well, now, I can't have just anyone wandering around in there. But, I guess Mr. Von Karma is in there now anyway. You can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma? Yes, he just arrived, actually. Von Karma's in the records room. Nick, let's hurry! So, in the next part, we will hurry to the records room because right now, I don't really feel like it. <laughs>
in this part anyway, because it's been 15 minutes. So, if you like what I'm doing, sub, comment, like it, it's all good. Um, more Phoenix Wright to come. Hope y'all have a good day, and I just said y'all. See you then. Ha <laughs>